97, what? 100, <laughs> 103. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the Whiskey Tribe. Daniel, what is the holy grail of whiskiness? Um, Macau. Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you and I gotten our hands on a whiskey and been very impressed with the flavors, but it just feels like the alcohol percentage, the mm -hmm. ABV is a little bit lower because we know there's more flavors that whiskey could give. A lot, actually. It happens so much. Is it possible for you to raise the proof uh, of your whiskey? I've heard suggestions. At home. What if you had vodka, high proof spirit? You're gonna water it down. What if you, you raise the proof of water down the flavor? Right, okay. yeah, yeah. But I haven't heard a, a good option yet. So Terry Dolan, mm. one of our moderators in the Whiskey Tribe, mm. he had a suggestion of an episode. He I was has gonna no, say, was it a good suggestion? He has no expectations oh, that okay. this was a good idea at all. Okay. And there may be some critical decision points along the way where you and I need to have a moment of... Aside? Right, like, I don't know if this is actually... <laughs> yeah. We'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, yeah. uh, there's this thing called molecular sieves. Have you heard of these? Mm -mm. I got... Uh, Two different sources. And Holy, okay. Small granules. Um, what starts out as an aluminum silicate and a sodium silicate paste, and they dry out the paste. Hold it in your hand like this. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah. Why, oh, it's heating up even more. Why is that? There's this thing called the Van der Waals force, and this is, <laughs> I'm not making this up. It's real. Okay. The Van der Waals force is basically the attraction of molecular, really? You just. <gasps> This is really, this is, uh, this is like ADD heaven. The Van der Waals force is the attraction of, uh, the intermolecular attraction of molecules. Whenever you get molecular sieves that are 3A molecular sieves, okay. specifically angstroms, 3 angstroms, water happens to be at about 2.8 angstroms. And angstrom is basically like the size of the cracks. And it will separate, we're gonna do it right now, it will separate, supposedly, okay. separate the water from the ethanol leaving the liquid that's left behind okay. as a more concentrated alcohol. So we're gonna see, okay. I bought one that's like pretty dang cheap. Okay. Here's another one that's like more of a medical grade. Okay. Monkey shoulder. Yep. First. All right. One. Now you see this? We got dust coming out or is that actual like that's, heat? That's steam, my man. Oh yeah, it's hot. This right here is currently 97, what? 100, <laughs> 103. Yeah, it's climbing. So, so we gotta filter it out now. This isn't done until it comes back down to room temperature. Huh. How long do we have to wait? Just look, look, you have to. I am impatient. I understand that. You also have sensory issues like rolling your body around mm -hmm. on the beads. So let's do some other stuff while we're waiting on the whiskey. I'll try this manufacturer. These Here's are definitely one. smaller. Here's uh, one went into my whiskey. Now the the size, the three A, um, the Angstroms, there's four A. Those are specifically, I think, aren't necessarily talking about the diameter of these pellets. I think they're talking about the size of the microscopic cracks that um, are uh, pulling in the water molecules, mm -hmm. but leaving behind the larger ethanol molecules. Now, what did you get? Balconus Blue Corn Bourbon. Yeah. Sixty point five percent alcohol. It's about as high as you get alcohol. And you can see already, man, the, the bubbles coming off of that. What wine did you get? Barbera, because I really like Barbera. It's kind of this like, kind of nice, rich, not overly tannic. And then you got a beer as well. Mm-hmm. There you go. You got the Shiner Bach. Oh. 121 Fahrenheit. And then the wine, it is at 111. And the whiskey, Still toasty warm, it's at 100 though. It's dropping, 102. And then this, the bigger with the other angstroms, mm -hmm. it's 104. The same spirits across these areas. Okay, so we're gonna let these settle down to room temperature and then we're going to gently test them. We're gonna... <laughs> we'll be back. Don't laugh. This episode's <laughs> Did you cough in the middle of my ad? I'm sorry. It's like I'm like a second in. It's brought to you by the Wizard of Ads partners. These are marketing professionals that help you turn small businesses into big businesses. You can go to wizardofads.com for free articles and advice and find marketing professionals. It's gonna be why. Did you lose your train of thought? Why? Because punk rock. Bigger guns.
Uh, it's been a couple of hours since we set the test to go. Now, it's, it could take up to three. Uh, we checked the temperatures and we're like in the high 70s. Yeah, which is, the room is about mid 70s. Which for us, it's right. about summer temps inside. Right, right, right. If you look really closely, it is ever so slightly off-gassing some bubbles, but by this point, we should absolutely have enough of a result to measure. You okay? You okay? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that is not happening anymore. Ow. You need a moment? I think I ate too fast. <laughs> now, we're gonna go through, and um, the most important thing is, did the proof in fact raise? To remind you, these are two different kinds of right um, sieve manufacturers. These are both 3A molecular sieves, but we, we wanted to hedge our bets. So maybe there was one that outperformed the other. So we did the same experiment across two different company sources. For so this sieves. is originally 120, yeah. roughly speaking. Yeah. Currently Notice. testing at, what do we can got? you see that? Yep. 131.5. So we did raise the proof. We did. And that was the bourbon? Mm-hmm. All right, you magnificent bastards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. It's gotta be said. Don't try this at home. I did just the bare minimum amount of research to make sure that we would be okay in the episode because we were gonna be doing like minimal sipping. I was looking into like the substance, the research, and all the, so I knew we would be fine. Before you go sprinkling uh, science balls and molecular sieves across your drinks all willy nilly. Um, yeah, maybe maybe look into it a little bit deeper because I don't want magnificent bastards around the world dropping in <laughs> molecular sieves and getting exothermic reactions. Basically, it's material that's designed to absorb water. So that could cause complications whenever you're mostly made out of water. So look into it before you even think about it. Just I'm saying don't do it. Don't even do it. Don't even think about it. Don't even do it. Here we go. Let's okay. do on the different manufacturer. Uh, ah, I went only on 130. So, so there's no question it went up. Let's go ahead and just focus on the larger um, 3A molecular sieves. Okay, let's test between the two sizes. Let's test the two monkey shoulders real quick. Okay. Monkey shoulder was at 80. Now it is at 92. 90, almost 92. Yeah. And then this one, the larger container. Yeah. 92. Yeah, 92 and change. Currently, this wine is at eight proof. Seven proof. Something went wrong on this one. I'm not comfortable making any assertions about the wine. I say get that wine out of here. What was the beer on the bottle proof? 4.4. All right. So. Nine this will proof. This is weird because it will tell us nothing. It did not like it. It's not reading it. It's too low. It's too low. All right. And there's too much carbonation in there. Yeah, the bubbles are throwing it off. I think the wine and the beer, it's so low. Just real quick though. But that's fine. We're not a wine or beer channel. Right. So I think it's time to filter. Remind me what these are called. The, oh, those are Chemex. Chemex, Chemex yeah. filters. Chemex. I don't know how much a Chemex filter is going to soak up. I hope it lets some stuff through. You ready? Yeah. Monkey shoulder going in. Oh, look, it looks pretty clear. One of the things we noticed, especially in the large one, Daniel, can you hand me that? The larger jar. This, in an earlier clip, that was quite a bit higher than it is right now. Mm -hmm. So these molecular sieves ended up soaking up a lot of that water. You ready? Yeah. All right, still kind of cloudy. Some holding on. unnerving. Okay. And okay. Hmm. We'll <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm pouring in the bourbon. What? That looks much darker. There's their compatriots. Okay, they just look cloudier. This mm -hmm. one looks darker, for sure, but it also looks cloudier. This one looks like it's about the same amount of darkness. Yeah, but super cloudy. Of the four, what are you most excited to try? Well, I like drinking the bourbon. There you go. But after the fact. We're done, the unmolested whiskey wins. <laughs> unmolested whiskey wins. <laughs> I, don't want, I do want to try to see the monkey shoulder. Yeah, I am I am curious. Oh, I'm not sure terrible. if eager is the right. Eager is the wrong word. Right. Can I tell you it smells terrible? Hold on. Check yours. Hold no, on. no, check yours. You did the bourbon. It's basically that uh, that malty sour funk mm -hmm. that got cranked up. Oh, the malty yeah. sour funk. Is that the original? That's the original. All right, you ready? Here's the. <sighs> it's been it's been a nice run. <laughs> oh, it did get hotter. Yeah, but the flavors didn't really keep. There's up. There's a weird aftertaste. The flavors didn't keep up though. No. It made it hotter. It flattened out a little too. It's like the same amount of flavor, just a little bit more bite. Yeah. Here, this, this way. layers down. your tongue. Okay. Going in, going in, monkey. Ah, oh, that's better. It's the original. Yeah. And the follow-up. 
Yeah, it's got more metallic and it ruined the monkey. The bourbon, the, the Balcona stood up to it. Whatever things happen in aging to round out a whiskey and make it a little bit less bitey. You just remove it. Yeah, you strip out all those nice layers that time delivers <laughs> that kind of round off the bite. Hey, can we use the cam mic to see what's going on in your stomach right now? The, the probe? submersible probe. Yeah. You just gotta like straighten your neck as straight as possible like a sword swallower. Or we go the other way. Baby bird. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, our resident hand model, is very often uncomfortable in the studio because the temperature is too cold. Has he heard of sweaters? It's not nearly as elaborate or ridiculous. Oh. As I could just lend him a sweater. Yeah. That's a pretty good idea. <laughs> <laughs> sweaters are itchy. That's right, and we don't want him to be itchy. No. <laughs> and I think we should give some warming on his most critical tools whilst editing these videos. Hand warmers. First, we need the gloves. How many employers would care this much about your physical comfort and well-being? I don't think anyone would care this much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. This one first. Oh, is it already getting hot? Yeah, that's really hot, actually. Tape it! Ow! <laughs> Wait, how hot is it? It is not that hot. You're tipping the baby! Was, it was hot there for a second. There you go. Alright. Don't drop it. <laughs> Take us on a tour of your favorite YouTube channel. You got it. That you are liked and subscribed. No! <laughs> Modern Road! Look at plug it! Look at plug it! Done! <laughs> it was burning at first. No, it's really cold. Okay, well now it is. Watch, I'll do it. Ready? Yeah, do it. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! <laughs> it's really hard! <laughs> I fing told you! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we bought the end, you're pretty hot. I'm as happy as I can be. Uh.